OnePlus could be missing some key features on their newest device, the OnePlus 6T, and you may not like this. What's up, party people? Android Stud here, and it's time for Talking Tech Tuesday. The OnePlus 6T. Ooh, you're not gonna like it, and you're gonna like it. You're not gonna like it, you're gonna like it. Here's what I mean. The leaks are becoming more and more official as we speak. Looks like this bad boy is gonna be featuring that water drop notch, which everybody loves. Getting rid of that hideous notch that the iPhone and some other copycat Android OEMs have right now. And it's gonna have the in-display fingerprint reader. That's right, getting rid of the one on the back and putting it in the display where it's gonna have that screen unlock and it's gonna have that in-display fingerprint reader. Now, that's the good news. The bad news looks like they're gonna get rid of the HPJ. That's right, the headphone jack. Come on, OnePlus, why are you doing this? They say they're doing it because of the in-display fingerprint reader. It takes up more space, so they have to get rid of the headphone jack. But you know what? The Vivo Next S has an in-display fingerprint reader, and they still have the headphone jack. And you know what? The same company that owns them owns you. So that's no excuse. Look. It looks like you're gonna have to live that dongle life when it comes to the headphone jack because you'll no longer have it. You'll have to do what the rest of us do that are on iPhones and some other manufacturers that no longer have the traditional headphone jack. You're gonna have to go Type-C, dongle, or Bluetooth, which is a bummer. There's also leaks of the prices of the OnePlus 6T accessories, and one of them include a 3.5 millimeter headphone dongle. So you're gonna have to be living that dongle life, like I said, which is depressing. Now, it looks like this thing will be coming to T-Mobile, but what's the price gonna cost us, guys, for, these, for this in-display fingerprint reader? It could be north of $600, because they say the technology on this thing costs a lot of money to manufacture, so that's bad news. I got bad news for you. This thing could cost over $600. And guess what? You're not gonna get wireless charging and you're not gonna get an IPA68 certified or dust resistant phone. They've already confirmed that it will not come with either of these features. So I don't know how you guys feel about that. So we could be over $600 for this device, which is a real shame. But look, you could always get the Poco phone for $300, $350, which rocks pretty good. Doesn't have that in-display fingerprint reader. But you know what? At least it has that headphone jack right there. The LG V40 will be dropping this week. That's right, tomorrow, August 3rd, they're gonna reveal this thing. We've already seen some images of this device, some leaks of this device. The big ballyhoo about this thing and the big deal about this thing is gonna have those five cameras, three on the rear, two on the front. And you know what? These things might be just as sexy as Victoria's Secret if you ask me. The three on the back are gonna have three different lenses, which you know what? Are all great lenses for everyday use. You have the standard lens, you have the super wide angle lens, which you know how I feel about that wide angle. Mm, give it to me and also that telephoto zoom. So if you wanna get those close-up shots of your honeys or honeys, I don't know, however you get down. And then on the front-facing camera, you're gonna have two lenses on there where you have the standard selfie with you and your friends, and then you can take that wide-angle shot with you and your friends. Look, this is gonna be an exciting device. LG hopefully will stand for looking good this year when it comes to this device. The LG G7 was a great device. This one should be a really good device. It's gonna be packing that 845 Snapdragon. It's gonna have an awesome display. And look, LG's trying to make a comeback. Every time they drop a device, I'm hoping the best for them. Hopefully this one will be something that we really enjoy and something we really like. We are officially one week away from the announcement and the re revelation of the Google Pixel 3 lineup. Look, we've already seen this phone. Now we're really, really gonna see it, if that makes any sense to you. And you know what? The Google Pixel 3 promo materials have also leaked. Look, this video shows off the phone and some of the features from Android Pie, which we've all obviously already seen on the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL. But one of the things that's new is the one exception is the new revamped camera app, which is great because 
the camera app on the Google Pixel, Pixel 2, Pixel 2 XL was a little boring, although the camera is the best in the game. And if the Pixel 3 camera is anything like the Pixel 2 camera, forget about it. It's gonna be lights out, home run once again. It'll have all the other OEMs, including Apple, trying to play catch up. Looks like there's also gonna be a new color for the Google Home Mini. That's right, looks like this bad boy is gonna come out. Aqua will be available at the end of the month. So that's one of the goodies that Google may be announcing along with the Pixel line and some other stuff that they have. They're gonna be rolling out next week. Looks like Samsung's releasing some new colors for the Note 9, and this is kind of depressing. These, these colors were basic. It's a silver and a black, as we all know. I picked up the nice color here, and I'm a little disappointed because I like silver and I like black. So it looks like these colors will be available starting with the silver on Friday, October 5th, and then the following week you can pick up a black one. But you know what, Samsung, listen. Here's my advice to you. Release all the colors at the same time, especially basic colors like silver and black. It makes no sense to me. You gotta be kidding me. And finally today on Talking Tech Tuesday, what's all this talk with the iPhones? You got ChargeGate, you got BeautyGate, you got Wi-Fi uh, phone connection problems, you got blue shift on the OLED panels. The YouTube and internet is going insane with all the videos, all the criticism. Is this hate? Is this justified? What's going on? Here's my opinion on it, man. Listen, if you have an issue with the device, just return it, exchange it. And if you're a YouTuber and you're having these issues, then do a video on it. It's your opinion. At the end of the day, man, it's just a smartphone. It's not the end of the world. I don't know why there's so much arguments on the internet. I don't know why there's so much hate. Everybody has a right or opinion to do what they think they need to do. But at the end of the day, it's just a smartphone, guys. Go hug your family, kiss your dog, do whatever you need to do. But you know what? Keep a smile on your face and keep it moving. Listen, that's gonna do it for Talking Tech Tuesday. If you wanna hear news like this, and follow me on Twitter at Android Stud, also on Instagram so you can get all your hot tech news. That'll do it, man. I'm out of here. Peace. <music>